Hi, Andy Prayman here from Me and My Golf, and today we're talking swing thoughts. Now, I will ask a lot of my students, or every one of my students, when they're hitting the golf ball, what are they thinking about? So, what's going through their mind in order to hit the golf ball how they want to? Today, we're going to talk about whether swing thoughts are good or whether they're bad, and give you an idea of if we are going to think of a swing thought, what's the best thing to think about? Now, there's a doctor, Dr. Gabrielle Wolf based in the University of Las Vegas. She's a professor of kinesiology, and she's done some research on performance cues. Now, a performance cue is basically a, a swing thought in terms of golf that's going to give you the ideal performance. Now, she's put it into two categories. We've got an external swing thought or an internal swing thought. Now, an external swing thought is something that is related to outside of the body, whether it's the golf club, your watch, your glove, or your belt buckle. An internal swing thought is based on you, so your, your body and what your body does in the golf swing. So maybe whether you're thinking about your shoulders or your right leg or your hands or your, your head. That's an internal thought. Now, she's done some research with some golfers to find out which ones are going to increase performing and learning. And what she did, she set up a, a group of novices, all at the same level, not done much golf before. She divided them into three groups. And that all they had to do was pitch a ball to a green. She gave a third of the group, she gave them external thoughts, so to do with the golf club. She gave a, another third of the group an internal thought, more to do with their arms and their shoulders. And then she gave the other third of the group a, well, no cue, no cue at all. So she said, basically, just hit that golf ball to the target. Now, it's interesting that the results shown that the internal thoughts, okay, someone thinking about what their arms were doing, actually equally performed against someone with no cue at all. So someone thinking about just hitting the ball to the target was the same as someone thinking about the arms and the shoulders, maybe. But somebody thinking about the, the external, the external group, their results shown that they performed 33% better than the other two groups. Okay, and that was having a thought of the golf club sort of swinging as a pendulum, if you like. Now, this is really interesting in golf because every time I ask somebody what they're thinking, they're always saying to me, okay, I'm thinking maybe I'm turning my shoulders or I'm trying to keep my head still or I'm trying to keep the flex in my right leg. Nobody ever really says to me that I'm thinking about closing the face or I'm thinking about what the shaft's doing or, you know, it's all related to the body. And when you think about it, this research is very important. It's been tested and it's so important for us as golfers to realise what's going to help us when we're on the golf course and when we're on the driving range practising because it's going to make a huge impact on our golf performance. So, examples of this. For instance, say if I was struggling with getting my club into a decent impact position. So my impact may look a little bit like this where the shaft is leaning backwards, yeah? One external thought would be to, okay, I'm going to see if I can get my shaft to lean more towards the target as I hit the golf ball. An inter internal thought would be, okay, I'm going to see if I can get my hands ahead of the golf ball at impact. Now, the internal thought, obviously, is the thinking about the hands. That makes movement, or it, it makes the movement very um, difficult to perform freely when you're thinking about certain body parts. And we need to project our focus more out towards the external, so the golf club or the shaft. Another example may be with the, if I'm trying to close the face better through impact, I literally want to think maybe I just want to turn that golf club or that face through the ball. That's your external reference. Your internal reference would be to rotate the hands. Again, you can, they're both doing the same thing, but the way you think about it changes the way you learn. So whatever you're working on in your golf swing, think about how you can change it into an external reference or an external thought where you can think about something apart from the body. Okay, so research has shown if you can think about external thoughts, swing thoughts, great, have them on the golf course, have them on the practice area, they're going to help your learning and your performance. So 
Guys, give that a go. That's a, a sort of new, a new thing for you maybe to think about when you're practicing next. Post your comments underneath. Let me know how you get on. Hopefully you're going to find that really helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.